Hi, this is Brooke Lounsbury, registered nurse and expert contributor at Caring Village. Each week I answer your questions about caregiving and offer tips and solutions. Medical disclaimer, although I am a nurse by profession, I am not your nurse. All content and information shared is for informational purposes and educational purposes only. It does not constitute medical advice and does not establish any kind of patient-client relationship. Always consult a professional who is aware of all the facts and circumstances of your individual situation before making any changes or decisions about your health or well-being. My wife has early stage dementia but still likes to get out of the house from time to time. We go out to lunch once every week or two and visit the little shops in our village. However, her repetitive questions and sometimes quirky behavior can draw a lot of attention. What's the best way to handle this in public? Handling repetitive questions from a loved one with dementia can be challenging and emotionally draining for caregivers. However, there are several effective and compassionate strategies that can help manage your wife's behavior. Repetitive questions often stem from memory loss, anxiety, confusion, or an unmet need. Recognizing that the person with dementia is not intentionally trying to frustrate you is crucial. She may be seeking comfort, security, or reassurance. Now there are some strategies for handling repetitive questions such as remaining calm, respond with empathy and patience, avoid showing frustration or impatience as this can increase your wife's anxiety. Use a soothing tone. Speak slowly and clearly using a gentle and reassuring tone. Now, when you're out in public, ignore the onlookers and focus on your wife's needs. This will help avoid escalating anxiety and outbursts. Respond to the emotions, not just the words. Identify underlying emotions by trying to understand the feelings behind the questions. She may be feeling anxious, scared, or confused. Addressing these emotions can be more effective than providing the factual answers. Take time to determine the cause and has her schedule or her surroundings changed? Has there been a change in the family structure, such as loved ones or friends coming to the home to help? Or has a pet been introduced or has one recently died? Even the smallest changes can profoundly affect how your wife handles everyday life. She is trying to make sense of the world around her, and that can put you at a loss of what to do or say. Be sure to offer comfort through physical touch, like a hug or a hand squeeze, to help soothe her anxiety. Now, using simple and concise language, and also you're using your body language to let her know you are listening by turning your body towards her and looking her in the eye, providing short, simple responses will avoid overwhelming her with too much information. You may need to repeat information. Sometimes by repeating your response the same way can help her understand and retain the information better. Create a supportive environment by reducing triggers and identifying and removing environmental triggers that may be causing anxiety or confusion. This could include minimizing noise and distractions. Even scheduling your trips into town during a quieter time of day can help tremendously. Engage in distraction and redirection by changing the subject. Gently redirect the conversation to a different topic that interests her. This is especially important if she says inappropriate or rude comments. She doesn't have the same filters on speech that she did before Alzheimer's. One thing you can do is print or have pre-made business cards you can hand to people explaining that she has Alzheimer's and isn't aware of what she is saying. Now, this is just as important as everything else I've said, and that is to take care of yourself and seek support. Caregiving can be exhausting. Take scheduled breaks before you start feeling overwhelmed and seek support from family, friends, or professional respite care services to avoid burnout. Take up a hobby or another activity that you enjoy. By handling repetitive questions with compassion and patience, this is essential for both you and your wife. By understanding the underlying causes, you can create a more supportive and less stressful environment for your wife. For more detailed information and resources, you can refer to the Alzheimer's Association and other reputable sources on dementia care. And as always, be sure to discuss your concerns with her doctor. 
If you have a caregiving question or concern, please submit your questions by leaving a comment below or fill out our form at www.caringvillage.com backslash questions. I look forward to hearing from you. Until next week.